This unit is on transformation. Okay. I think this is one of the harder units. Okay. So you might want to really pay attention to this stuff. Okay. First part of transformation that we're going to learn about is translation. Okay. And translations are the easier of all, all of them. Okay. Now, anytime we do a transformation, we have an image and we have a pre-image. The image is what we're looking for. Okay, the pre-image is usually the one that they gave us. Okay, so they, like this quadrilateral, they gave us A, B, C, D. Okay, when we write the image, we write it as, it's called A prime, B prime. So when I find my new ones, I'm going to find A prime, <coughs> B prime, and it's just like A with a little apostrophe of it. Okay, B prime, do that, like that. Does that make sense? All right. So a translation is a slide. Okay. We might vertically slide it. We might horizontally slide it. We could do both. Okay. But we're just going to slide it to the coordinate plane. Okay. Symbolic form. We're going to take the points x, y. Okay, and we're going to change them to X plus H and Y plus K. And the H okay, represents the horizontal slide, because that's my X's, that goes to my X's. My K represents my vertical slide because that's my Y. Okay, so far so good? All right, let's see. Let's use the real test. Alright, we have a rectangle, Q, R, S, T. Okay. Q is negative 6, 1. I'm just going to kind of make my axes darker because I struggle with the sometimes. So, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. No, negative 6, negative 1. Okay, label that Q. Negative 3, 1. 1, 2, 3. And 
my t is going to be negative 2 plus 5, and negative 7 plus 7. There. <laughs> so there is my new image. I just have to plot those points down. So negative 1, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I label that q prime. R is 2, 8. R prime, S is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, S prime, and T prime is 3, 0, and so all we did is we shifted it over 5 and up 7, every one. It, they should look like because you're just sliding it. Okay, where's our confusion point on this? I don't believe you. I think some of us are still like, what did he just do? Great. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at this one. Let's plot. We've got triangle C D. So let's plot our C, our D, and our E. Five. 
Good catch on that. 